Hey everyone, today I want to talk about why doing nothing as a practice might actually be the best thing you can do to relieve stress. Why is that? Well, as we all know, we live in a time where most of us are addicted to completion, addicted to crossing off all of those to-dos. The goal in our modern age is to do as much as we possibly can to optimize our productivity. And that leaves so many of us in this ragged state where we feel anxious, we feel irritated, we might even feel burned out. So that how then do we do nothing? Well, one way is just to carve out time on your calendar, allow yourself to basically be totally free for 10 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes. I've actually found that that doesn't work very well because the instinct is to go on our phone, to start checking emails again, to go on social media. We're not actually giving ourselves the opportunity to relax when we do that. Here's the way I like to practice doing nothing. I reserve 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, depending on how overwhelmed and stressed I might be. And I lie down on the ground, on my back, arms extended to my side. So for those of you who do yoga, you'll recognize this pose. This is corpse pose or shavasana, the pose that usually comes at the end of a yoga practice. But when I'm doing this as a practice and doing nothing, all I'm doing is essentially just lying there. There is no practice, no methodology, no breathing technique. I'll sometimes put on music. So I like putting on one of my blissed out, new agey playlists. I've actually got a bunch of these on Spotify. If you're interested, you can listen to them. But the goal in this practice, if there is a goal, is to not try. So that's really the only thing I'm doing. I'm lying down on my back, eyes closed. Maybe I've got blinders going and for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever the time is, I'm just allowing myself to intentionally not try. And what's really kind of weird about this practice is I will catch myself trying, trying to relax, trying to change or extend my breath. And in those moments, I just remind myself, I am doing absolutely nothing, no need to try. And that allows me to then relax more. And what I find is that I'm able to get into deeper and deeper states of relaxation. I may even fall asleep for a moment. So sometimes it's helpful to set an alarm, but that's the basic practice. Reserve time, lie down and give yourself this intentional time to do absolutely nothing.